What's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist, and today I'm here with it's Doug. And we're gonna get straight onto this. He's gonna be profiling his Dino Morphia that just swiftly to owed me. We're here at Comic Con, and we're gonna get straight on this. But don't, before we do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get straight on into this. And thank you so much for letting me profile it. You're very welcome. So first stop, uh, three Thrizia. Oh, definitely. And three Diplos. Uh huh. Thrizia is the best normal summon of the deck. Mm -hmm. So unless you set any Dynamorphia trapped to your field, whereas mm -hmm. uh, Diplos is the Foolish Burial of the deck. Uh -huh. And what's really interesting is that when both of them are destroyed by battle or by card effect, once per turn, you banish the trap, any trap, you can special summon the other one back out to the field. Yeah, and I see that Miscellaneous Aurus hiding back there. You said you are going to play in the tournament, right? I see that Miscellaneous Aurus right there. Yeah, there, there's Misc. Oh yeah, it's still a one! Yep. I haven't read what it does, but I hear it's good for protection. <laughs> it's like one of the best cards in the whole deck. Like, that card is insane. It is. And uh, what's really interesting is that um, a trap card that we're going to get to later really helps with uh, it, its uh, special summon effect from Graveyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll get, in, we'll get into that when we get to the traps. But mm -hmm. other than that, uh, three Ash Blossom. Almost oh, definitely. Yeah. You got to play the three Ash yeah, so there, that opponent doesn't touch that deck. deck. There's an extra deck monster. That, very, very unique to uh, having this as material if you can sacrifice a hand trap. Really? Yeah. Huh. So that's it for the monsters. That's a pretty good monster lineup. Mm -hmm. so but I'm, the traps are where it's at. Yeah. But before we get to traps, gotta do the spells. Okay. Um, one fossil dig. Okay. I, know, I know some people will, will say one. Why not three? The traps mainly your fusion traps. You'll most likely use those before you even get a chance to use this. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much just a uh, turn one opener. Other otherwise, the other two, I pretty much consider them bricks. Mm -hmm. It's your second misc. Yeah. Uh, call by the grave in case, you know, hand traps. Yeah. And then finally, three, pot of duality. Because you're not special summoning on your turn. On turn one, yes. This was originally, when I, when I first got my my uh, Dynamorphia deck profile last year, this was two prosperity, but mm -hmm. with how, how it's built, I'm sure many uh, builds are like this now. Mm -hmm. uh, where it's just three pot of duality. Yeah, it makes sense. I like the pot of duality in there. Mm -hmm. On to the traps. We play a bunch of traps. So first off, your your fusion traps, three frenzy, and three domain. Frenzy, oh, most definitely. Frenzy is the one that you yeah. Mm -hmm. Frenzy is the one that you usually want to go into turn one, or yeah. at least what you want to see, mm -hmm. because you can summon Thrizia, copy this to summon Rex turn. If you use this, you have to use the Rizia, or excuse me, Kentragina as material for your uh, for your Rex turn. Yeah, that's really cool though. Now they have like six fusion traps. Yeah. Like it just works. Best thing about the Dynamorphia traps is mm -hmm. that they, if you banish them, mm -hmm. yeah, it negates uh, effect damage. Yeah, so it gives you a little bit of protection, which is really nice. Yeah. We are getting new support in Cyberstorm Axis for battle damage, mm -hmm. and I'm very excited for that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, two Brute. Yeah. Some people like to run it at one. I personally like to run it at two. Mm -hmm. it does, that second copy does come in handy every, every once in a while. Yeah. One Alert just to get my monsters back from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. One Shell. Many people do not usually run this, but you special summon a 3k defense token that your opponent must swing into or, th or they end their battle phase. Yeah, it worked against me. Yeah. <laughs> it did. And then uh, for spells and traps, I run against um, one with two Sonics. Uh-huh. And with this, with these two and Shell, the counter traps prevent battle damage mm -hmm. when banished. Three Psalms... Psalm Judgment and three Psalm Strike. Oh, you were just saying no to everything. Yeah. You were just saying no to everything. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I like that. And then I believe this was your favorite card in, in game one, Regret Grave Dirty's Trap Hole. That card is so good. It's so good. Like I was trying to activate some sort of effect in my hand, like to uh -huh. summon out an Abyss Shark, and you just hit me with this and drop my life points down. Like this card is so insane in this so deck. So if you activate a monster effect in hand, graveyard, or banished pile, mm -hmm. that that is negated and it inflicts 2,000 points of damage, not once per turn. Yeah. 
So if you're a Thunder player, look out for that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And then uh, finally, two Imperm mm -hmm. and two Ferret Flame Zords. I, I you know how many times this card has saved me in many, many games. It dealt with my field. It broke my board. Yeah. It really did. Like, I had full board with the, against him, and, like, this card just flipped and broke my entire board. Like, it's just so good. And then just two Imperms? I had to make it, to make it an even 40. I got you. It makes sense. It makes sense. You've got all that other power with the trap, so it makes sense. And what's really interesting about Fair Flames, as far as I know, in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, this is the only card to have a fart gag in it. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. Mm -hmm. Three Kentrogena. She's the one that can special summon your Rex term unless you use Frenzy to go directly mm -hmm. into it. Friends, uh, Rex term is the best card in the whole extra deck. Oh, definitely. Depending, depending on what your life points are, monsters your opponent controls with equal to or greater than mm -hmm. it, uh, attack cannot activate their effects while on field. Yep. And that, that pretty much locks it down, didn't it? It's pretty much just walking skill drain. That's just really, really good. And then, uh -huh. uh, yep. two Stealthbergia. This is just mainly uh, fusion fodder for, for Frenzy. Yeah. Stealthbergia is really good, too. But when it is on the field, though, depending on uh, what effect is activated in chain, yeah. it can chain on that and inflict damage to your opponent depending on what your monster's attack points are. Yeah. That's really good. Other than that, it's just, yeah, fusion fodder. Onto the Exceeds. One Evil Zora Lagia and one Dolka because it's a dinosaur deck. And they're just walking the gates. Pretty much. Um, one Tornado Dragon to deal with spells and traps. Yep. Abyss Dweller. This was to pretty much stop tier elements, but thank God it's been hit. Oh, I know. I know, isn't it great? Yes, so I may take this out for something else now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I have to get familiarized with the Kashira thing. Yeah, all about banishing. Yeah. And then uh, one Raider's Knight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing that? Yeah. Okay. So Raider's Knight will allow you to special summon Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Yep. Detach any of my Dynamorphia level 4 monsters. Keep Raiders Knight attached. Indicates all monster effects on the field. Adds their total original attack points to it. Mm -hmm. And that'll, that's just the OTK. That is so good. I love that card. That's one of my favorite XZs. Yes. I'm so glad somebody else is playing that in the deck. Mm -hmm. And then the, the big boy. Uh -huh. Psychic and Punisher. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yes. Okay, so you like Normal and Ash and then sink into this. Normal and Ash. Synchro with Rex term, summon this boy out. It gains the difference in life points to its attack. So if I'm at 500 and my opponent's still at 8,000, that's 7,500 7, attacked added to this. It goes to like 11,000. Mm -hmm. Wow. I thought that the Arc Rebellion was the OTK card. No, this is it. And here's another thing too. As long as my life points are lower, uh -huh. it, it is unaffected by all other card effects. So you can dark yeah. rule with this, it won't matter. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Yes. Do you have a side deck? Yes, I do. All right, let's take a look at that side deck. Well, first off, just want to show off the uh, the token. This is a custom token that I got online. I I tried to. I'm trying to go for a uh, like maybe a secret rare of this. Yeah, this is just custom. So yeah, that's really cool though. Onto the side deck. Mm -hmm. Two Lord of the Heavenly Prisons. All right. Two Lightning Storm. One Feather Duster for back row. Mm -hmm. And for when up against the Runic deck, uh, Anti-Spell Fragrance. Also against Runic and, and by extension, Sky Striker. Epidemic uh, Virus. Eradicator is yeah. so good. I, that, that card, every time it gets brought up, I say, it won me an ARG. Yeah. That card won me an ARG and I love it. Um, two deck devastators. I've been on that in my Sprite Runic too. That's really good. I've been debating on now that uh, Sprite, I don't know how Sprite has been fully affected by the ban mm -hmm. list with the banning of Elf, but I'm, it's going to remain, mm -hmm. remain in here for now. Yep. And then finally, three evenly matched. Three evenly matched. There you go. Would you ever bump the Lightning Storm up to three? I do, but one piece slow me down. I may take out one, uh, 
one of these for it. Uh huh. That way I can just have two, two, and then yeah. Three. I got you. I could, I could possibly do that. I got you. Just curious. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is it for the deck profile? Well, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for the deck profile. I really appreciate. It. Do you have any shout outs? Shout out Starcom Duelist. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shout out to my buddy Russell. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luca and Andre. All right. So thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys. Later.